Good day, my name is Benjamin Liebenberg from Katia Communications. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the MVC 400. So, uh, from the unboxing video, you've got the camera, mic, and speaker, you've got a touch control, you've got your NUC PC. This would be mounted below your screen, your NUC PC could be behind your screen, and the touch control um, will be installed on your desk. So, from an installation perspective, if we start off with the NUC PC, um, the NUC PC has got a um, all your um, connections there. So you've got your internet port, you've got your VCH, which is going to be powering up your touch control. You've got your USB ports and you've got dual HDMI. So if you wanted to run two screens, um, what is going to be interesting with this solution, we're going to be hooking it up to a touch screen. Um, there's a video you can check out uh, for whiteboarding on Microsoft Teams rooms so that you've got touch back control. And um, yeah, so what you would want to connect is obviously internet um, to your device. Then you would run a network cable. So there's a 7.5 meter cable that comes with um, the Yearlink device. This is just a shorter one so it doesn't become messy. And this will be powering up my touch display. Then from there, I'm going to run a USB cable. The USB is going to be connecting to um, my UVC40 camera mic and speaker. That connected. This connected into there. Then what we are going to need is also the cable that you pull through trunking to the desk. So at the back of the touch screen, just connect that into the VCH port, which will power it up. And it's got a nice routing. Um, well, cable management in here and then the other cable you'd connect is your USB-C to USB-C HDMI so Yearlink does give you that connector um, that's between USB-C and HDMI so if you do have USB-C you could use that connect that into there and then let's just route these cables properly and this one would go there and then I would just connect my back plate into there. And clip that on. Now what's also nice about the Yearlink one is you get a screwdriver and your two small screws that you could use to close the touch panel. Just put the screws in. That is then just wipe off that screen. So it does have a screen protector on also. Just clean it off a bit. My fingerprint, so it just looks a bit more neat. So this device will then um, be on your desk with this cat cable neatly going below the touch screen. And then on top of the table, um, <coughs> just like that you'll have um, content sharing from here and that will run below the desk so you won't see that and then you've got that screwdriver so coming back to the pc let's just power up the camera and then put in your hdmi it wouldn't matter which port um, on the device you'll just say dual or single screen okay that is connected perfect 
But then what is also nice is um, the closing of that connection. And then there's your docking if you wanted to put it behind on a wall. Um, you've got that mounting bracket on there. So let's just put that to your side because that would be installed away from here. And the only thing that I forgot to add is power. So what is also nice with the Yaelink one, if power would dip or anything like that, um, the PC would automatically boot up again. So let's just close that off again. And you've completed your installation. Obviously, you just have to put everything neatly um, into its place. Let's just run this perhaps. Can we move the PC now, I guess? There we go. So that would be neatly stored away. And on your desk, you would only have HDMI or USB C. Now, from here on, you would sign in with your Microsoft Teams room account, um, which is an email address and a password. And then if you wanted to make any changes to the mics, if you added an extra mic or anything like that, you can change those settings. You can enable Zoom um, for it to join Zoom or WebEx meetings, and it's ready to use. Thank you for watching. Please follow our channel for uh, more updates and 